Good evening, my name is Jason Owens. I'm the band director at Franklin High School and welcome to Back to School Night. I'm gonna take a few minutes to go over the classes that we offer here at Franklin and expectations around those classes. This will be two different videos. I recorded a video today in the band room that I'm gonna play for you now here in just a few minutes. Uh, just quickly, all of the classes are on Canvas. So uh, you can go through, if we click on one of the bands, for example, um, and I'll come back to this a little later, but you can see classroom norms and expectations, basic setup for our class that goes through warm-ups, scale exercises, and our performance pieces, some resources that we use online, um, the fact that we do submit performance and practice recordings throughout the year for to help with grading and development, and then also I have a, a private study list here. Um, just to quickly go through a little bit with AP Music Theory, if you're taking my AP Music Theory course, um, this is first year college theory. Um, there is a lot on here from AP Central about the checklist and getting ready for registration for the test and so forth. All of the units we cover are on the Canvas page, some classroom norms, norms and expectations, our routine, um, and students have a three ring binder that's set up that way with the three different areas that we focus on, rhythm and sight reading and ear training, lessons of the days, notes, and then larger material work that we're doing, including our textbook. Um, and then we also use some of those same online resources. I'm gonna go ahead now and play a recording from me from the band room today, and uh, then we'll come back. I might show something else during that, but let's go ahead and check this out here. One sec. Hi there, my name is Jason Owens and I am the band director here at Franklin High School. I wanted to just say hello to you and give a greeting from the band room here for back to school night. Um, quickly just go over some expectations and some ideas and thoughts around um, your musician here in the Franklin Band program. Uh, we have three main ensembles, which is our concert band, then symphonic band, then wind ensemble. Um, those are kind of tiered similar to say freshman JV and varsity for band and we also have our jazz band here and then we I also teach AP music theory and percussion ensemble drumline. Um, each one of those classes has a canvas page with expectations, some links to different things that will help uh, your musician have a more successful experience in that class and then there's also assignments there. In each class We'll have to do uh, some recordings using uh, Canvas and a Flipgrid portal where they can play exercises or passages from music, uh, different things like that to prove that, not to prove, but to work through the process of becoming a better player and to also show that they're doing some practice. Um, if, if your musician is in, is in jazz band or one of the three or four other ensembles that we have here. They should be practicing at home about 120 minutes per week. That's three sessions of a half an hour or however you'd like to put that together. Uh, I think it's better to have shorter 35, 30 to 45 minute practices a few times a week. It tends to work the best for improvements and progress. Um, a couple things here I can share. Let's see if I can share a, um, let's see here. So this is where I went to share the um, Canvas page for a symphonic band, but it doesn't show up. So that's why I'm doing this video again. So just keep in mind here as we're listening to this, that what we're looking at or what I'm trying to explain here is uh, under symphonic band, just some of the classroom norms, the practice routine that we use each day in class. We, we also play from this Win Technique book and some of the assignments in fact, most of the assignments will come from this technique book. And then I have the private lesson, the private teacher list down here below. But that's what I'm getting ready to explain. Let's see if I can get back up here. Let's go ahead and try this here real quick. So if we look at a canvas page, this should be what your, this is um, symphonic band. And so if you look under the canvas page here, there is some expectations about students being present for all classes. Of course, I understand that that's not always possible, 
but that's the expectation. Instrument and practice space is ready to play. You're ready to play, be actively engaged. Be it's really important that your students are in class every day. Um, when, we're, when we're all together and we're playing, you can really hear the balance in the room. You hear full sections, we tune to each other. Uh, and when people are missing, it really changes that. So um, be, be consistent with your attendance courageous and kind and supportive of others in class and strive to improve your musicianship. Um, there is the Win Technique book that we use. There's the online version of it. You can download your pages for your clair, you know, for whatever instrument you are, clarinet or trumpet or percussion or whatever. Um, and then this is kind of how we work um, classroom growth. We have warm ups when we come in and then we do scales and exercises and then we work on our performance pieces. Um, and there are a few different things here. Parents, you can become an observer here. There is um, there's a guide on how to do that. Um, we also use smart music and musictheory.net to help us with our musical growth. Um, we'll be talking more about smart music in the coming weeks. And then I also have a list of private instructors here on the Canvas pages, on all of the Canvas pages. Um, please uh, consider taking private lessons. We can do a lot in this class as far as um, you know, me being able to help students, I'll kind of go around the room here. Um, I can do a lot. I can focus on, you know, some basic needs for the clarinets or for the trumpets or for percussion or for my upper woodwinds. Um, but having a private instructor that really can focus on some of the finer details of music making for a specific instrument can really make the difference. So um, think about taking private lessons. There's a really nice list there that uh, goes through and um, there's a lot of different options for teachers in the area that both do virtual and in person. Yeah, keep in mind that you can still take virtual lessons and they actually work out pretty well. It's not the same as doing in person where you're connecting and they're actually in front of you, you know, showing you different things on the instrument. But um, my son has done virtual lessons for the last year and a half or so, and it, it works pretty well, especially these teachers are getting really used to doing it. So it may be an option with your busy schedule. Um, lessons. What else? Um, I try to get as many students involved in our pet band uh, in the fall and winter as possible. So we try to get everyone together for, uh, you know, sporting events like football or basketball or um, those typically be typically are the main ones. Um, there are only four football home games and then in the winter time we'll split up into multiple groups. So we'll have a silver band, a maroon band, and then the reason we split up in the winter time is it gets really busy. We're all super busy and this way. Students are obligated to play so many games. Um, so we'll try to make it. So if you do have conflicts, uh, we'll try to set you up. You know, for example, if you're a, a boys basketball player, then it would be easier for you to do some of the girls games, uh, different things like that. And then also just smaller groups. So we have three different groups playing pet band a percussion group so we don't have to play so many games so students can work with conflicts. Um, my email is jones2 at pps.net. Uh, please connect with me. I'm trying to connect with you. Uh, we take musicianship seriously here. We want to have fun, but we want to have fun through hard work and growth. And so I really, really think it's important that um, we all send the same message to our our young musicians here that this is um, it takes it takes a lot of practice and time and uh, to just really make improvements and uh, it's important that we're sort of systematic about it and purposeful about how we do that so um, it's been awesome getting to know your musicians and working through things and I think we're off to a really great star so like I said please contact me if you have more questions look on the canvas page um, we just have one assignment basically per group right now to get started. They can be doing those at home or here at school. Um, it's a pleasure to be the band director here at Franklin High School, and I look forward to talking to you more. Yeah, it really is a pleasure to work with your students at Franklin. Um, I feel like we're off to a great start. We're getting a lot of things done. The energy in the room has been, has been really good. I think it's really nice to get back together. Uh, with students and create music together. So thank you for being part of that.